In this video, what we're going to do is have a look at our friend, the Minim OSD board. I have a couple of other videos that talk about how you set this up. The first one takes you through a step-by-step -step method for configuring this and connecting it to a standard multi-Wii where you don't have to actually change the code on the multi-Wii itself. You just use the signals that come out of the UART and FDDI ports naturally to have your on-screen display. The second one in the series also then shows you an alternative um, uh, firmware for that board and this one what we're going to do is actually set this minim OSD board up here so that it actually displays the voltage now the things I'm going to be talking about here and demoing uh, full descriptions available from the website here code.google.com slash p slash rush hyphen OSD hyphen development slash wiki slash hardware underscore mods and um, as you can see there is a little resistor bridge that you have to um, set up and you have to do some soldering to make this work uh, because unless you've done this the voltage input will always read zero um, and if you scroll up and down this website you'll also see how you do the same kind of thing for um, measuring current draw video battery and other bits and bobs. I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna show you how to do the main voltage and give you an idea of what you're doing with these bits and pieces. So let's talk very briefly about what you're going to need to make this happen. Obviously you're going to need some very fine wire and you're going to need a very fine tipped soldering iron because you have to wire this directly onto one of the small pins on the three to eight processor itself. Now that's a little bit fiddly, so you have to make sure that uh, you haven't got the shakes and that you have a great soldering iron. It isn't going to take much heat just by tipping, tapping that uh, lead because it's so small, uh, you'll be able to get the solder to stick, but you're going to need some very fine wire. You're going to need a couple of resistors. You're going to need a 1.5 kilo ohm and a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, and I'll explain why it's done that way in a second. Uh, you're going to need, obviously, the minimum OSD board itself, and you're going to um, have to have it set up. Um, so look at my other videos for how you do that. And then, finally, what you're going to need is a, um, a couple of these things, these JST connectors. Um, I'd recommend that you always use some kind of connector so you can take the minimum OSD board on and off the machine. And um, what I'm going to do is to put this JST lead onto the power distribution board on the quad itself and then I'm going to use this other lead to connect and make up this little resistor bridge that we have on the screen now. Okay so if you've got all that stuff then you're ready to have a play. First thing we'll do though is let's just talk about what this resistor bridge is and why you actually need it. So here's um, my diagram which kind of shows the same thing. So here's that 1.5 kilo ohm resistor in series with a 22 kilo ohm resistor and what it's actually doing is dividing the voltage from the battery across those two resistors in a way that the board can sense. But first of all, let's talk about how much current this is going to draw from the battery for those of you who are worried about affecting flight times. Bottom line is it isn't going to pull very much at all. It's kind of... Um, half a milliamp so that's 0 0.00052 milliamps uh, for the 3s battery and about 0.7 of a milliamp for a 4s battery so it's not going to affect the flight time at all really so you don't have to worry about that but what we can have a look at is if we look at the next slide the way this works is that the internal reference voltage that you'll see in the code if you actually looked it up is 1.1 volts and the reason for that is because this uh, resistance bridge that we're setting up here will actually divide the voltage so across the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor which is what we're measuring across on a 3S battery, a fully charged 3S battery would give us about 0.79 volts across that and a 4S battery would give us about 1.055 volts across that resistor. And what the Minim OSD is actually comparing that voltage that it can see across that resistor with the 1.1 reference voltage and using that to figure out what the voltage is at the battery and then putting that on the screen. 
Now, if none of that made sense, don't worry about it. It's just for those of you who are interested about why 1.1 volts is used and how it all um, works. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this little bit of soldering, and then what we'll do from there is we'll actually um, go into the Minim OSD, and we will then just adjust the numbers using the output from a multi um, meter which is connected to the battery and we'll adjust it so that the display on the OSD is the same because of course um, 0.79 and 1.055 volts is different from 3S to 4S um, you just need to fine-tune that so that it's perfect on the display okay that's enough about what we're going to do let's crack on to it so we'll get the soldering out, iron out we'll warm it up and we'll actually build the resistance bridge and we'll stick it onto the second pin on the Minim OSD. Okay, so here are the resistors I'm going to use, a 22 kilo ohm and a 1.5 kilo ohm um, resistor. We're gonna to have to make sure that we install them the right way round. What I'm gonna do is just cut off the leads here, strip them back, and then connect each of these resistors to the right lead. Uh, actually, it's going to be that way around, isn't it? And then twist these leads together, um, cut one of them off, and actually use this minute little... These are only quarter-watt resistors because there's not a lot of power being dissipated. This minute lead that comes out here to actually solder onto the pin on the Minim OSD. So let me just start to make this up, and we'll come back and we'll have a look. So here's that piece made up. I've just cut the leads off the bottom and then what I've done is I've connected the 22 kilo ohm to the positive terminal and the 1.5 kilo ohm. I'm just going to cover these up with a little bit of heat shrink for safety and then what I'll do is I'll actually pull these two wires together, wrap one round the other and then cut one of them off and the remaining lead will be used to connect to the minimum OSD board. So let me just um, heat shrink these connect the other ends and push some heat shrink over the top for protection and then the next thing to do is solder it onto the board. So here we are we nearly have it finished now so that we have the 22 kilo ohm covered by a little bit of um, heat shrink just to make sure it doesn't short out and the other end hope you can see that is just soldered together so I'm going to cover this whole thing in heat shrink to keep it safe and this will be the lead that will connect to the Minim OSD. So let me put the final bit of heat shrink on, and then this bit is done. And here's the final version now, with the connector on one end, and the thin wire coming out the other, and all of the gubbins covered by some heat shrinks to keep it nice and safe. Okay, next thing we need to do is just install this onto that second pin on the processor. I'll do that, and we'll come straight back. I won't uh, video it unfortunately because I'm going to need all my concentration to get this on the right point. And once I've done it, I will secure it to the board with a bit of hot glue and potentially a little bit of heat shrink as well. I don't want it moving around and uh, this thing snapping because it won't survive a lot of abuse. So let me do that and come straight back. So here's the finished version. We have the connector on the side going to the second pin as per the diagram and I've also just heat shrinked the whole contraption to the side for strain relief so that um, it doesn't come undone because it's only been held on by the minutest piece of solder. So that's the really hard part done. We actually now have a board that can send voltage through this port. I'm going to go away and connect this other side onto the um, power distribution board of the model. And in theory, all we have to do is then plug that into there and then it's going to be reading that voltage and then we can move on to the next step. So let me just do that and then install this back into the model and we'll go into the OSD and do the final configuration and calibration. So here we are looking at the OSD on the screen and as soon as it's initialized, I put the throttle at mid stick push it all the way to the right and put the elevator all the way to the top and that gets us into the menu. And the menu we're looking at here has a number of different pages. The way you navigate through them is using the uh, rudder stick, the left stick, left and right will take you through and the right stick 
will actually navigate you up, down, uh, left and right through the bits and pieces. So what we'll do is the one we're really interested in, I'm not going to go through the rest of these, is obviously the voltage one. And you'll see here on the voltage page that there are two voltages shown at the top. It can sense these through the voltage there is a divider that we've just built and installed and we can see video and also battery now at the moment they're reading the same because they're coming off the same bits and pieces but we can adjust that at the top you can see that we can turn on and off through this um, little interface the display so the first thing I need to do is to turn the main volts display on so that I can see them but no matter whether you've got them turned on or off they'll always show at the top of this page so that you can adjust them the next thing down on this screen is where we're going to do the adjustment. So where it says 200, we're going to need to change that until the value at the top where it says BAT um, on the top right hand corner is the same as the actual voltage on the model. Now alongside this, I've actually just measured the voltage on the model itself and it's coming out at just about 11.9 volts so what I need to do is to change the adjust volts value until that battery voltage at the top reads 11.9 volts and matches the actual voltage on the craft now I could have done this slightly easier than messing around with this at the um, fifth of these list it says cells for um, when I was doing this I didn't spot it I could have just set that to three it would have made things a little bit faster because at the moment the main volts alarm is set too high and then I had to go back in and also drop that in a 3s battery you'd want it about 10.6 10.5 um, so that's hopefully made sense for those of you who are interested in this and now you know how to add a voltage divider um, to build one, to install it onto the Minim OSD, to put that on the craft, and then to go into the menu and adjust it so that it reads accurately. Hopefully that's useful for those of you who have asked the question, and if you have any problems, please let me know. Please like, subscribe, and happy flying.